In this video, I'm gonna showcase the Liquify plugin. First of all, what even is Liquify? If you have used Photoshop before, you're probably familiar with it. Or you might have even seen it in uh, videos on YouTube when people use Photoshop. The tool is quite well known. It doesn't come pre-installed in Paint.net, but there's a plugin you can install so you can get it in Paint.net. So just go to um, the link in the description and just download it from Pirate Child's uh, plugin set. And here it is. If you need help installing, I've got a video covering that. So now let's show how to, well, use it. I've got a photo here of an ice cream and it is already a little bit melted, but I want it to drip and have like, I want it to drip down. So what I can do is, well, do liquify. So go to effects, tools, and here, liquify. And then this pops up. Uh, you zoom in like in paint up. Like in regular paint.net, you hold control and scroll. And then you see some uh, stuff up here. Here you can uh, change the size. Uh, I'm gonna set it at 20 or maybe 35. And as default, you'll have this push, which will, if you hold left click and drag, you'll push this away basically to make it like drip down. Maybe we want to change the size. We can increase it by scrolling or just the drop down. We can do that, something quick like that. You want to tweak, you want to uh, fine tune it here and there, but I'm just doing this as a showcase. I'm just showing how to do it, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna spend much time on it. Maybe change the size again. So if uh, we zoom out, so now the ice cream is uh, dripping uh, a lot more. It doesn't look very good, but you need to spend more time on it to make it look better, obviously. <laughs> just hit OK, and there we go. If you remember, uh, there were some other stuff uh, you can do, so I'm gonna show uh, all of those too. So here we have a stock photo of a guy here, and I'm gonna mess him up a bit. First, maybe we can uh, make him smile more, like that. <laughs> and here comes uh, some interesting stuff. Bloat and uh, pucker. Bloat will uh, make it bigger, so if we increase the size and go to the eye, and just left click a little bit, you'll you can increase the size of the eye. Control Z is, well, undo. So there we have that. And pucker is the opposite. It will decrease the size <laughs> like that. And these twist left and twist right. Well, it has, it, it's pretty obvious. It twists uh, the image <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then we can go to like push and uh, push it back a bit. So it looks a little bit better, I suppose. Well, could you call this good? I don't know. <laughs> this is quite the showcase, I guess. We can make the hand way smaller. We can make the thumb like that. Like push the hand like that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, as you can see, you, you might you might think this uh, you might uh, think uh, this plugin is uh, just for for ent entertainment, but uh, it is actually quite useful if you know how to use it, like with the ice cream for example. And you could maybe give him some more muscle, I don't know. Damn, look at that. You can also increase the pressure so it goes way Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to undo that. Density too. Like yeah, and you also got the undo and redo buttons here. And you can- oh, I forgot you can uh, zoom here as well. Well, let's hit OK. So that is some- uh, so that is uh, a few ways you can use Liquify, and uh, yeah, that's it for the video. So thanks so much for watching, and bye!